Hi, I'm Kelvin, a rising senior from Bronx Division Academy, and for my fifth milestone, I worked on adding a button to my gesture control car, which will allow me to be autonomous. So when the button is pressed, I don't need my um, control glove. The car is able to move on its own without need of my my instructions. Um, so this is how the button works. I have connected um the button to a breadboard and also connected wires to it and these wires is then connected to the microcontroller on the car so when the button is pressed signals is sent to the microcontroller to tell the car to switch to uh, from gesture control to autonomous mode um so working on this button might might not have seemed difficult when i first thought about it but when i started working on it i saw that there was a lot of work i need to do um so first the button i need i need to figure out how to wire up a button and the um, a lot of diagrams i was looking at was um buttons to light up an led and they were using a lot of different wires and resistors which i thought i didn't need it because i didn't have much space on my car to have that many wires so i kept looking until i found um the perfect um diagram to connect the button and the wires so this diagram was sending once when the button was pressed and it will send zeros when the button was not pressed on the serial monitor when the code was uploaded. So this code was perfect because I needed a code that will, when I press, when the button is pressed, it will send a signal which will then, which the microcontroller will relay this signal as a command to switch modes. So I uploaded this, I used this um, button, button diagram and wired it up and connected it to my microcontroller. So after connecting this to my microcontroller, it was time to also write a code that will allow my car to be able to be in autonomous mode. This part of the, the process was not difficult as finding the diagram for the button. Um, the code came pretty, um, I finished it pretty quickly and I was able to allow my car to be autonomous mode. After finishing that code, I also needed to write a code which will initiate or which will then tell the car to go in this mode or go in autonomous mode. That code also was part that was a little difficult because um, when I was pressing my code, the first struggles I had was I had to hold my button for the car to be in autonomous mode. And so I came up, my instructor helped me came up, um, come up with a code, which when I press the button once, the car will know to be in autonomous mode and I don't have to hold it no more. So when I press it once, it will automatically go to autonomous mode. And yeah, this was my fifth milestone. Thank you for listening. When I press the button on the car, it will keep moving forward until it comes to contact with the object. Then it will turn right and keep moving forward again.